I always thought, what is the key element that makes one stand out from the average? It lingered in my mind, danced on the edges of my thoughts, and challenged the very essence of what I believed success entailed. This question isn't just a matter of curiosity. It's a quest to uncover a truth that can significantly alter the course of our lives. Today, let's embark on a journey to discover what truly distinguishes the exceptional from the sea of mediocrity. As we delve into this exploration, I invite you to ponder your own life, your achievements, and more importantly, the moments you felt yourself rise above the confines of the average. What drove those moments? Was it sheer luck? A spontaneous burst of effort or something deeper, something ingrained in the very fabric of your being? You see, standing out from the average isn't about grandiose achievements that the world applauds. It's about the subtle shifts, the small decisions, and the disciplines that become the threads weaving the tapestry of an extraordinary life. That's the distinction between the average and the exceptional is often misunderstood, wrapped in the glamour of outward success, yet it's rooted in the quiet, consistent application of a few principles that guide the way we live our lives. Let me share a story that illuminates this concept. It's about a teacher and his student, a tale that underscores the essence of transcending the average. This teacher, known for his wisdom and simplicity, was approached by a student eager to surpass the bounds of mediocrity. The student asked, Teacher, what must I do to surpass the average, to truly stand out? The teacher, with a gentle smile, replied, Follow me. They walked through the bustling marketplace, the cacophony of life pulsating around them, and into the serenity of a garden, lush and vibrant. The teacher paused and picked up a seemingly ordinary stone, placing it in the student's hand. To stand out, he began, you must be like this stone, not for its commonness, but for its potential to become a masterpiece in the hands of a skilled sculptor. Your actions, your discipline, and your commitment to growth are the tools of the sculptor. The masterpiece is the life you build, one that stands out not just for its achievements, but for its character, resilience, and the ability to inspire others. This story, simple yet profound, encapsulates the journey from the average to the exceptional. It's not about doing what everyone else is doing, a bit better or a bit faster. No, it's about daring to be different, to embrace the disciplines that others neglect, to commit to a path of constant growth and learning. To stand out from the average, you must first cultivate a mindset that welcomes challenges as opportunities for growth. You see, the average mind seeks comfort, shies away from discomfort, and settles for the known, the exceptional mind. However, thrives on challenge, sees failure as a stepping stone, and constantly seeks out the unknown for the possibilities it holds. Now, let's talk about this. Have you ever found yourself lounging comfortably on your sofa? Perhaps a little too comfortably? Maybe in those moments, the thought of stepping outside, tackling a new project, or even pursuing a dream flickered across your mind, only to be dismissed for the comfort of the moment. This, my friends, is a familiar crossroads we all encounter. The allure of comfort versus the beckoning of our potential. Let's talk about comfort first. Comfort is like a familiar friend, one that doesn't ask too much of us and always makes us feel at ease. But here's a thought-provoking question. When you think back on your life, the moments that truly stand out, were they born from comfort or from when you stretched beyond it? Now, don't get me wrong, comfort has its place. It's where we rest, recharge, and gather our thoughts. However, comfort becomes a cunning adversary when it convinces us to stay put, to not risk, to not grow. It whispers tales of contentment in doing just enough to get by, painting the unknown with brushes of fear and doubt. It's comfortable to do what we've always done, fint what we've always thought. But let me ask you, where has that comfort brought you? Is it to the doorstep of your dreams, or has it subtly escorted you to the realm of the average? Now, let's pivot our thoughts to Penchel, that vibrant, pulsating promise within each of us, 
Unlike comfort, potential is a challenging friend. It nudges us, provokes us, and sometimes even pushes us into the deep end to see if we'll potential is not content with yesterday's achievements. It's always looking to tomorrow. Consider this, within each person here today lies an extraordinary potential for achievement, for joy, for creating a life that's not just lived, but celebrated. Yet so often, this potential remains just that potential, unexpressed, untouched, like a book that's never opened. Why? Because tapping into that potential requires us to leave the comfort of the known and venture into the uncertain to trade the familiar for the possibility of failure, but also for the promise of success. So here's another question to ponder. Where do you see yourself on the spectrum between comfort and potential? Are you nestling in the cozy blankets of the known? Or are you out in the field planting seeds for a harvest you've yet to see? You see, the journey to tapping into our potential starts with a single step. A step of faith, a step of courage, a step away from the average. It doesn't demand that you leap into the abyss without looking. It simply asks that you take one step, then another, moving closer to the person you were meant to be. Let me share a little story. There's once a man who dreamed of being a great writer. He lived in a small town, working a job that paid the bills but didn't light up his soul. Every evening, he would sit in his comfortable chair and tell himself, tomorrow, I'll start writing. But tomorrow turned into next week, next month, and then years. One day, he realized that the perfect moment he was waiting for, that moment of absolute comfort and readiness, would never come. It was a myth. He had to create it. And so he started writing. His first attempts were far from masterpieces. But with each word, each sentence, he grew. His comfort zone expanded, and so did his potential. Today, we know this man as one of the greatest authors of his, his name. Well, his name isn't important. What's important is the lesson he learns. Great achievements are often just beyond the edge of our comfort zone. This story isn't unique. It's the story of every person who dared to reach beyond their grasp to challenge the seductive whisper of comfort and to embrace their potential. So as we sit here today, I challenge you. Think about that one thing you've always wanted to do, that dream that's been gathering dust in the corner of your mind. What's one step you can take today, however small, towards that dream? How can you stretch beyond the comfortable to touch the hem of your potential? Remember, standing out from the average isn't about grand gestures or monumental achievements. It's about the daily choice to push a little further, to grow a bit more, to challenge the status quo of your life. In our quest to stand out from the average, to not just tread water, but to swim against the current and reach shores unseen, it's essential we turn our gaze towards those who've charted these waters before us. Let's talk about individuals from various walks of life who, through sheer dedication, resilience, and an unwavering belief in their unique talents, transform their average into excellence. Consider the world of literature, where words are the brush and imagination the canvas. There was a writer, initially rejected by 12 publishing houses, who believed in the magic of her story about a boy wizard. In cafes, she pinned down her visions, Undeterred by her circumstances as a single mother on welfare, J.K. Rowling, with her Harry Potter series, not only transformed her life but enchanted the world, proving that faith in one's creativity and perseverance can indeed turn rags to riches, obscurity to renown. In the realm of sports, reflect on the early career of Michael Jordan, a name synonymous with basketball excellence. Did you know he was cut from his high school basketball team? Yet, instead of succumbing to defeat, Jordan used this rejection as fuel to work harder, practice more, and solidify his resolve. His career, marked by six NBA championships and numerous accolades, stands as a testament to turning setbacks into setups for comebacks. And what about the tech world? A college dropout who envisioned a world where personal computing was accessible to everyone. Bill Gates, through his determination and innovative mindset, co-founded Microsoft, fundamentally changing the tech landscape. Its journey from a college dorm room 
to becoming a key figure in the digital revolution underscores the power of embracing one's vision and the relentless pursuit of that vision, regardless of the traditional path one is expected to follow. Now, I ask you to take a moment. Think of a time in your life when you achieved something you initially thought was out of reach. Perhaps it was a project at work, a personal goal, or even a small daily task that seemed insurmountable. What drove you to succeed? Was it determination, fear of failure, or the sweet whisper of potential urging you to press on? These stories, these moments of transformation from average to exceptional, share a common thread. Decision to embrace one's unique talents and dedicate oneself to the path of excellence. It wasn't mere talent that set these individuals apart. It was their response to failure, their commitment to growth, and their courage to persist against all. Each of us carries within an untapped reservoir of potential, a seed of greatness waiting to be nurtured. The difference between those who stand out and those who remain within the confines of the average is not the presence of talent, but the willingness to act upon it, to mold and refine it through dedication and hard work. So as we stand here today reflecting on our paths and the vast seas of potential that lie before us, let's make a pledge. Let's vow not to be shackled by the fear of failure, not to be dissuaded by the comfort of the known, but to forge ahead with determination to carve our own paths of excellence. Let's commit to embracing our unique talents, to learning from our setbacks, and to transforming our average into our extraordinary. In doing so, we not only elevate ourselves, but inspire those around us to embark on their own journeys of self-discovery and excellence. Our stories, like those before us, can become beacons of hope and exemplars of what it means to truly stand out from the average. As we move forward, remember, excellence is not a distant shore, but a journey, marked by the small steps we take each day towards unleashing our potential. Let's not wait for the perfect moment. Let's create it through our actions, our beliefs, and our unwavering commitment to becoming the best versions of ourselves. In this quest, let us be fearless, for it is in the act of striving towards our potential that we truly stand out from the average. In our pursuit to stand out, to truly make a mark in this vast world, it often boils down to the seemingly insignificant choices we make daily. These choices, these habits, are the building blocks of a life that is not just lived, but one that shines one that stands out from the average. Now I want you to consider for a moment, what's one habit you could start today that might change the course of your tomorrow? The power of daily habits is profound. It's the small actions, repeated day in and day out, that weave the tapestry of our lives. Think about it. The difference between someone who excels and someone who remains stuck in the realm of the average often lies not in talent or opportunity, but in the habits they cultivate. So how do we go about forming habits that align with our personal and professional goals? It starts with intention. You have to be clear about what you want to achieve and why. This clarity will be your guide, helping you to sift through the myriad of daily decisions and select those that serve your larger purpose. Let's talk practical advice for a moment. To form a new habit, start small. Don't overwhelm yourself with a complete overhaul of your daily routine. Instead, focus on one small change you can make. It could be as simple as waking up 10 minutes earlier to read, write, or reflect, or perhaps, Dedicating a few minutes each day to learning a new skill relevant to your professional goals. Consistency is key. The magic of habit formation doesn't lie in making grand gestures, but in the consistency of small efforts. It's the daily repetition that ingrains these habits into the fabric of our lives, turning actions into reflexes that propel us towards our goals. But let's not forget the importance of patience and forgiveness. Forming new habits takes time, and there will be days when we falter. On those days, it's crucial to practice self-forgiveness, acknowledge the slip, learn from it, and move forward. Remember, it's not the occasional missed day that defines our journey. It's our ability to get back on track that truly shapes our destiny.
Now to our earlier question. What's one habit you could start today that might change the course of your tomorrow? Imagine the impact of consistently dedicating time to hone your craft, to expand your knowledge, or to nurture your well-being. Over time, these daily investments accumulate, transforming the ordinary into the extraordinary. Let me share a story that brings this concept to life. There was once a young artist who dreamt of painting masterpieces that would be admired for generations. However, faced with the demands of daily life, he struggled to find time for his art. One day, he made a simple decision to paint for at least one hour every day, no matter what. This commitment, though small at first, became the cornerstone of his life. Years later, his paintings hang in galleries around the world, a testament to the power of daily habits. This story illustrates a profound truth. The life we dream of, the life that stands out from the average, is built one day at a time one habit at a time. So, as we move forward, let us ask ourselves what small actions we can take today, what habits we can begin to form that will steer us towards the extraordinary. Remember, every great achievement starts with the decision to try, to take that first step, however small it may be. In this journey we call life, challenges and setbacks are not just possibilities, they are inevitabilities. Standing out from the average doesn't mean walking a path devoid of obstacles, but rather learning to navigate them with resilience and grace. It's about understanding that every challenge carries within it the seeds of growth and transformation. Let me pose a reflective question to you. How can your biggest challenge become the source of your greatest strength? This isn't just philosophical musing. It's a practical inquiry into the very nature of personal development and achievement. Consider the story of a young athlete who, early in her career, faced a debilitating injury. It was the kind of setback that could easily end a promising journey before it truly began. Yet, instead of succumbing to despair, she chose to view her recovery period as an opportunity. She immersed herself in the study of her sport, refining her mental game, and deepening her understanding of strategy. By the time she returned to the field, she was not only physically healed, but had also gained a competitive edge that set her apart from her peers. Her biggest challenge had indeed become her greatest strength. This story exemplifies a truth that many have found through their own experiences. Adversity is a crucible that can forge in us qualities we might never have developed otherwise resilience, perseverance, and a profound depth of character. These qualities become the bedrock upon which we build a life that stands out from the average. So how do we begin to transform our challenges into our strengths? It starts with a shift in perspective. Instead of viewing obstacles as barriers to our progress, we can see them as opportunities to learn, grow, and become stronger. This doesn't mean pretending that the challenge isn't difficult or painful. It means acknowledging the struggle while also recognizing the potential for growth it presents. Another key component in overcoming adversity is the cultivation of resilience. Resilience isn't about never feeling down or defeated. It's about the ability to bounce back, to recover from setbacks, and to continue moving forward with even greater determination. Developing resilience often involves building a support network of friends, family, and mentors who can provide encouragement and perspective when we're too close to our own challenges to see the way through. Let's also talk about the power of reflection and turning adversity into strength by taking the time to reflect on our challenges, to really dig into what they're teaching us about ourselves, our values, and our goals, we can extract wisdom that serves us long after the specific challenge has passed. This process of reflection and learning ensures that we don't just get through our challenges. We grow through them. Now, I want you to think about a challenge you're facing or have faced in the past. Consider how it has shaped you, what you've learned from it, and how it has or could become a source of strength for you. Reflect on this, not just as an exercise, but as a step towards integrating those lessons into your path to standing out from the average.
In sharing stories of resilience and overcoming adversity, we find not just inspiration, but also practical lessons on the enduring power of the human spirit. These stories remind us that standing out from the average isn't about leading a charmed life free from difficulty, but about embracing our challenges, learning from them, and using them as stepping stones on our journey to excellence. Surrounding oneself with mentors, and a supportive community is akin to planting oneself in fertile soil. It's about placing yourself where you can grow, thrive, and bloom into your fullest potential. This, my friends, is not just beneficial. It's essential for anyone striving to stand out from the average. Let's delve into the importance of this nurturing environment. Imagine for a moment a seed with all the potential to become a towering tree lying on a concrete sidewalk without the right soil, without water, and without the care of those who understand its potential. It remains just that, a seed. But when that seed finds its way into fertile ground with gardeners who nurture it, the possibilities become limitless. Mentors act as these gardeners in our lives. They've walked the path before us, faced the storms, and learned how to not only survive but to flourish. Through their guidance, we gain insights that can significantly shorten our learning curve and help us navigate our own journeys more effectively. They provide wisdom that comes only with experience, offering a lighthouse for us in times of uncertainty. Consider the story of a young entrepreneur brimming with ideas and ambition, but facing the dawning world of business. When paired with a mentor who had carved a path through that very world, the entrepreneur learned not only the strategies of business, but the invaluable lessons of perseverance, adaptability, and the importance of building meaningful relationships. This mentorship didn't just influence their success. It transformed their approach to life and business, propelling them from the realm of the average to the extraordinary. Now I invite you to think. Who in your life inspires you to be your best self? And how can you foster those relationships? These individuals, be they formal mentors, colleagues, friends, or family members, play a pivotal role in our journey towards excellence. They challenge us, believe in us and push us to exceed our own expectations. But how do we cultivate these vital relationships? It starts with being open to learning and being proactive and seeking guidance. It requires humility to acknowledge that we don't have all the answers and the courage to reach out and ask for help. Fostering these relationships means showing gratitude, giving back, and when the time comes, passing on what we've learned to others on their paths. Beyond individual mentors, the broader community around us provides a network of support, inspiration, and accountability. Engaging with like-minded individuals, those who share our aspirations and values, creates a dynamic environment that encourages growth and excellence. Whether it's joining professional groups, attending workshops, or participating in online forums, Immersing ourselves in communities that align with our goals amplifies our efforts to stand out. Personal experiences and countless success stories underline the transformative impact of mentorship and community. These relationships and networks not only inspire us, but also challenge us to expand our horizons, to dream bigger, and to push beyond the boundaries of the average. Embracing lifelong learning is not just about adding more facts to your repository of knowledge or ticking off skills from a list. It's about a continuous journey of growth, curiosity, and evolution that marks the difference between the average and the exceptional. This relentless pursuit of knowledge and experiences is what sets the trailblazers apart from the followers. It's about understanding that the world is a vast ocean of wisdom and to stand out, one must be willing to dive into its depths continuously. Now let's consider how integrating learning into our daily lives can transform the mundane into a journey of discovery and excellence. Imagine waking up each day with the intention to learn something new, to see each experience as an opportunity to grow. This could be as simple as reading a book on a topic outside your comfort zone, taking a different route to work to explore a new area, or even striking up a conversation with someone from a different background or profession.
but it's also important to be structured in our approach to learning. Setting aside dedicated time for this purpose is crucial. It might mean waking up an hour earlier to read, dedicating part of your weekend to a new hobby or course, or using your commute time to listen to educational podcasts. The key is to make learning a non-negotiable part of your daily routine as integral as eating or sleeping. Interactive elements play a vital role in this learning journey. Engaging with others, sharing insights, and discussing new ideas not only deepen your understanding, but also open doors to perspectives you might not have considered. Workshops, seminars, and online courses offer platforms for such interactions, creating communities of learners who support and challenge each other. Now I challenge you with a question. What's one area you're curious about? And how can you explore it further? This isn't just about professional development. It's about personal growth, about expanding the horizons of your world in ways you've never imagined. Whether it's learning a new language, understanding more about astrophysics, or exploring ancient history, the point is to ignite a spark of curiosity that fuels your journey towards standing out. Let me share a story that beautifully illustrates the power of embracing lifelong learning. There was once a person, much like anyone here, who found themselves stuck in the rut of daily life, feeling as though the days were blending into one monotonous loop. One day they stumbled upon an old guitar, gathering dust in the attic. Something sparked within them, a curiosity, a desire to learn. Day by day, chord by chord, they began to teach themselves to play. This new venture not only brought them joy, but also instilled a sense of discipline, patience, and creativity. It transformed their outlook on life, proving that it's never too late to learn something new, to add another layer to your being. This story is a testament to the transformative power of learning. It's a reminder that standing out from the average is not just about professional accolades or achievements. It's about enriching your life with new experiences, knowledge and skills that bring you joy, fulfillment, and a sense of endless possibility. Lifelong learning is about staying curious, staying hungry for more, and understanding that every day brings with it a chance to learn something that could change your life, or maybe even the world, for the better. It's about seeing life as an endless classroom, where the lessons never cease and the Learning never stops.